What's up developers and problem solvers, Ride Chicken in wanted to bring you guys another video today. And today we're going to discuss the fastest way to become a full stack developer. A lot of people online want to become full stack developer, but the truth about it guys, I'm going to be pretty frank with you guys today, 90% of full stack developers fail. Again, 90% of full stack developers fail. The reason why they fail is they're not focused. And I want to give you the, the give you a way to avoid this in the fastest way to become a full stack developer. Let me tell you guys a story. Well, back when everything we get ready to start developing guys um a lot of developers let's well let me go back even farther let's 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 go back in the 90s when i actually first started guys because that's basically when i started my technology career so everything starts there <laughs> but anyways uh back in the 90s uh companies trying to find developers they're trying to really put themselves in a position so that they can leverage technology and beat the competitors and save money and do all this awesome stuff with technology well they need somebody to build this software and they're looking for people to do this and who better to do it is somebody who's good at uh, software the, uh, they have fortran cobalt Ball, all these older legacy software as I hear so they kind of leveraged those life was good and all that stuff but they quickly found out that hey I need a database I need this I need somewhere to store I need um, websites I need all this stuff because technology is advancing so much the web is a thing now I need to get on the web I need somebody to create me apps and all this stuff but I can't hire a front-end developer a web developer a front-end developer a back end developer a database developer a java developer all these development jobs i can't hire it'll be great if there was one developer i can hire to not necessarily be the best at all the programming languages but can at least maintain the stuff that i have and that's when the full stack developer really became viable for mid-sized companies and small companies these are the companies that being a full stack developer is very valuable they cherish these because they can't afford to be like a facebook or google who have staffs on developers on top of developers and everybody can specialize in one little niche you can have a database developer or a developer that specializes in one framework well mid to small size companies can't don't have that luxury so that's why uh, full stack developers are very valuable to small small company not to say they're not valuable for the bigger companies too but the small mid-sized company really benefits the most for having them so i want to give you guys three ways to really become that full stack developer really fast since you kind of know why and why people need them and i want to put you in a position to win but before we do that guys i have a seven step guide in the description box go ahead and sign up for that guys that's going to give you access to our free community that's going to also start your full stack development career on the right foot so that you can get the job the fastest way you possibly can without going without going through all this fluff so links are in the description box go sign up for that so so we talked about why people need full stack developers now we need to talk about how you can become a full stack developer guys number one the reason 90% of the juniors uh, full stack developers fail because they focused on too much at one time. Just because you are a full stack developer and you can go within all the front end, back end, and the database don't mean that you do all of them at the same time. Start with one and spread out. I am a SQL developer by trade, so everything I do starts from the database. The way I started was, first of all, I did reports. Yes, SQL reports. I know that's not a developer's task, but what a SQL report does is get you familiar with the tables, get you familiar with the data, get you familiar with the application that actually uh, update and select data from the table and all that stuff. You can integrate the reports with the application and all that stuff. Companies love that and that's a way to get yourself in the door as a report developer to really kind of get you started. 
once you start designing reports and really get good at doing store procedures and functions it's going to be natural that people want to alert hey i get this report and i want to know when this happened i want to be notified right away when this happens send me an email that's something you can develop in sql pretty easy you can develop that in any other programming language too that has a database or even any other functionality that's something that a lot of companies need if you can start doing that that's going to start really building your project solving problems in your resume see this is one thing you can put on your resume so get stay with me here so the next one guys automating manual tasks you got employees at your job who got these redundant tasks that's the same every time that's something you can automate guys you can either um, import that via sql or create you a, a java file or c sharp or whatever programming language of choice you can do that now you went from the database to automating these little batch jobs using a PHP or C Sharp or whatever your program language choice. I'm not gonna get into that, but now you got act now you have two things you can put on your portfolio. You write reports, you manage the database, you create store procedures. Now you automate processes and stuff via Python or whatever batch file or batch program you do, automating a task. Got that. Final thing, guys. And this is more of a stay away kind of deal because a lot of you guys think, man, I'm going to do something sexy. I want to build this big enterprise app and I'm going to sell it. I'm going to put it on the app store and it's going to be great. And I'm going to make a ton of money. Yes, technology have advanced to the point where you can create an entire app yourself and you can put it on the app store and you can make a ton of money yes that's true but to really build a really functional enterprise app requires a ton of resources a ton of time a ton of uh, research and just just really it's just a massive undertaking and trying to start that as a beginning as a full stack developer is going to overwhelm you and cause you to quit again that 90 percent i was talking about they come in and say hey i want to build an app the next facebook the next twitter the next google and they have zero programming experience how you expect to build something like that you have zero um years of programming it's just not gonna happen i i've been doing this for 10 years and i still don't have the skills to go from end to end and build a facebook and i don't know a lot of developers who can because if they did we'll have multiple versions don't you know how many developers facebook have to support that um that application and that's been built over the last 10 years or so just think about it the uh, the level of research that's done and the uh, the issues, the the bugs fixes, and it's just a massive undertaking. So to expect you to think you're gonna build an app that's useful, that people are gonna use and functional, an entire app from end to end, let's not start with that, guys. You're just setting yourself for failure, guys. You want to pick the fastest approach to become a full stack developer. Being a full stack developer don't mean that you can't build a, a application from end to end you just solve problems guys you have problems that you're solving and a lot of them don't require you to build a full-fledged big enterprise application you may have a situation where you build a small little batch file importer where it takes data or scrub it from a source and input it into a database okay that's not too bad or you have a report or alert or something like that that's automatically generated creates a pdf and dip it into your imaging software oh Okay, that's not a big deal. It's a small project. Most of the applications you're going to build is actually going to be integrated around your core software package. So um, a lot of companies have this core, they call it CRM, Customer Relationship System, or Customer Relationship Database, that they manage all of their orders. They process anything that they do for their customers. Everything is in this system as far as just their main system. And then they have external systems around it that integrates it from different perspectives of the business. It can be from accounting. It can be from sales. It can be from management and transportation or any other and you're just building small applications around that to do these niche tasks that people manually do but they want to automate it and integrate it 
with that core system. That's a really good thing you can put on your data, your resume, guys, and it really gonna put you in a position to get that full stack development job as fast as possible. Because every company has a database with data that they manage, they have to update, they have to send, they have to give access to, and they probably have some kind of system in place that they wanna integrate, automate, and it can, it's gonna have some web front end um, capabilities. It's gonna have the um, back end, C sharp, whatever the program language of their choice managing it, and it's gonna have a database. I don't care if it's in the cloud, I don't care if it's mobile, I don't care if it's on prem. It's probably gonna all have those three uh, the um, application or, or different type of platforms that you have to manage. All that to say, guys, focus on small problems first. One, two, three, four. And then over time, that four are gonna turn to, I don't know, thousands of projects that you've done, done over a career. And guess what you can put on your resume? How you solve problems. The new employer that you're hiring or you're applying for are gonna see those problems you solve. I'm like, oh man, they can solve these problems like that. That's how you become a um, full stack developer, guys. So. That being said, like I was stating before, guys, links are below for the seven step guide. It gets you access to our community so that you can really start to take your career to the next level. Talk to like minded software full stack developers and really put you in a position to win. So go ahead and sign up for that seven step uh, front end web development guide. Links are below. If you agree with what I said, comment below. Let me know what you agree with. If you disagree, what do you disagree on? Let's have a conversation below, guys. Like, subscribe to the content. If you haven't subscribed to my video, guys, this is the little red button down here. Let's go ahead and sign up for that. And uh, the notification bell, somewhere up here. I don't know where it is, so sign up for that. And uh, I'll see you guys in the comment section. And let's start a conversation. Peace out.